these signs are gifts for our mothers and I got the idea originally from Pinterest of all places um, but I tried to do our own spin on things and using natural wood and shape and the imperfections that I had instead of a clean square or rectangle board that you can get anywhere. We took our time and made these by hand for sure because I'm chain sawing the, the main boards for the sign out of this log that we've had drying. Again, it's unique. Like, not every tree is the same. And even from this same log, you got two very different slabs, yeah. which is a lot of fun, I think, which added a lot of uniqueness in how we had to do things too when it came to making the big sign, which was a nice change of pace. Again, not repetitive. You were able to adapt it to the material rather than just having the material fit what you want. I actually cut three boards out of that log and then after I planed them down I picked the two best ones that we ended up using. After choosing the two that we were going to use I planed them down to the right thickness so they wouldn't break when they mounted on the wall and then I sanded them down nice and smooth so Allie could start painting them. Like the log, we got these branches from a neighbor and we're trying to use the resources that we have to make something cool. So we're, we let them dry out for a while and now I'm slicing them up into little like pucks that we then uh, sanded down and finished to make the individual date and name for each person on the birthday signs. The puck served as the day and the name of those uh, individual birthdays. So I first laid down the day in white acrylic paint. I then took them back and started staining all these pucks so that way it would be a little bit darker color to make that white kind of pop more. Once the paint was dry I took my wood burning pen with the pointiest tip and the hottest heat I can tolerate and burned their name over top of the numbers. And the stained wood was able to let the white of the numbers pop out and the burned in lames popped out even more on top of that. So it was a very nice contrast, so you were able to read both. Since we had cut these pucks out of a, in a series of different branches, they were all different sizes from like really, really small ones. So the, let, the numbers took up almost the entire puck to like pretty big ones where Allie made even bigger numbers and like the, wrote the names in pretty big. And then I just screwed in like hooks and eyelets so we could hang these underneath the main sign. So I painted with white acrylic paint the last name of my family on top of the sign and burned the word birthdays over top of that. Again, with the same idea of the stain being dark enough to show the white and the burning to pop out even more after that. And I also burned the 12 months just lining the edge in a, quite a small font just so I could fit all 12 of them across and just show that it wasn't that important. I wanted the family to stick out more than anything. And for Jeff's family, it is a mixed blended family, which is why I ended up doing family instead of a last name. I'm really glad that Allie has such good penmanship because she's able to just freehand this with a wood burning pen and I'm just always impressed at like how good she is with just writing it out once or twice for spacing she can then just freehand something in cursive that looks this nice. I can barely write my sign my name on paper in cursive. I'm getting out the table saw here because we need to trim off the edges these are areas that weren't quite as as nice. I wanted a nice, clean, finished edge on these, so turned them off, sanded them down, and then we had both of these ready to be finished. I love seeing the finished coat go down because the sanding makes it more like a dull brown, but the finished coat really brings out the colors. Pour the paint, and we spread it around. That's exactly right, River. I'm gonna pour the paint, and you guys can spread it around. So River, you can have the big brush. It's you have the little brush. And all this one, and we'll, prob we'll probably trade in a little bit, okay? Yeah. Ow! Oh, look out! This will be. This is white paint. 
Okay. Let's now start spreading it around, okay? Yeah. Was, was this spells? Spells family birthdays. Family birthdays. I saw him with a little people's accent. It's okay. Y'all. Thank you guys for your help. Now it's Daddy's turn, okay? Daddy's turn? You guys can jump down? Nan, you guys can watch Daddy, okay? Nan, nan, now now Daddy's going to do the rest? Yep, Daddy's going to do the rest. I just had a few last finishing touches before we were ready to hang it on the wall. Let's try again. Alright, now ping that up. First one, River. First one. Right here, January. First hook. You reach? Oh, don't. There you go. It's everyone's birthday in the family. Yeah, first up! Yep. Okay, there's two more. Mm -hmm. And then one. Okay, next is one more. And then we're all done. And we're all done. Mom, we're gonna get down. Let's look at it. So pretty, huh? Yeah. Overall, I enjoyed the final look. I loved the natural look of the wood and the imperfections that it provided. And I also liked the fact that we just used what we had at our disposal. I really love how they turned out as well. They're both really unique and they will help our parents keep track of like all their grandkids' birthdays. Which there, as you can see, there's a lot of them in both our families. Thanks for watching these videos. We had a lot of fun making these, so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the process. Head on over to Hold the Walnuts to see some of our gardening videos as well. <laughs> a very smooth thing. <laughs> yeah.